In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a simple data pipeline with ROS2 topics. And here is what I'm talking about and what we will achieve in this video. So we will create, here you can see, three nodes, and each node is going to publish on a topic that's going to be well received by the following node in the subscriber and then published again, etc. Okay, so we are going to start from a, a number, so we're going to send a number here. Make it very simple, all right? So send a number that we're going to multiply by two in the node two and then receive in the node three and print it. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything more complex than that here. No intra-process communication, no composition. Here the goal is just to make a very simple example and to practice. All right, and let's get started. And I will start from, you can see I have already three different files. Okay, node one, node two, and node three. I'm gonna write this in Python. So I already have the different files that I set up here. So I create an executable in the setup.py. Okay, and you can see I'm starting from a, a template to write a node with object-oriented programming. So if you want a complete step-by-step -step explanation on how to write this, how to build the node and how to set up everything correctly, well, I have a complete ROS2 course that might help you where you will learn everything from scratch with Python and also C++. All right, and now let's get started with this first node. So in this first node, what we want to do is just to publish some data, okay? If we have a pipeline, we need to start the pipeline at some point, okay? So just one publisher here. Okay, so in the node for now, what we do is, well, nothing. We just initialize the node and we make it spin. So let's create a publisher. And so to create a publisher, let's do self dot, let's call it number pub. I'm going to publish a number is equal to self dot create publisher. And you can see the first thing we need to provide is actually the message type. So what message type here, I'm going to use a very simple one. I'm going to do from example interfaces dot msg import float 64. Okay, I want to send a float number, so let's just use this example interface. Okay, so now I can put the float 64 here. So 64, and I will need to provide a name for the topic. And I'm going to use data underscore one. Okay, so that's going to be the topic for the first communication in the pipeline. All right, I will also need to provide a queue size that I just put to 10 by default. Don't need to worry about this for now. And then, well, this publisher is doing nothing. Okay, uh, the publisher is gonna be created and then the node will spin, but nothing is gonna happen. So I will add a timer so we can have a callback that's gonna, well, be able to publish the number at a certain rate. And let's first add a function here. So let's add a method actually in the class called publish number okay so we self because we are in a class and well all we need to do is to create a message and then publish this message so let's create a message that's going to be a float 64 okay open close parenthesis and then in the message we have a data field is equal to and well here i could just put any arbitrary number that i'm going to send over and over again but let's actually make it as a random number so it's going to be different every time so I'm going to import the Python module random like this and let's do random dot I'm going to do dot uniform. So you have different ways to generate random numbers, but here I'm going to do random dot uniform and I'm going to provide 0.0, .0 and 10.0. So basically I want a random float number between 0 and 10. Great. So now we have the random number to start with and then let's do self dot number pub dot publish with the message and that's it for this node what i can do also just so that we can visualize what's happening then when we test is to add a log here self dot get logger with dot info and let's say that we are publishing and let's add so let's concatenate with another string of the message dot data okay so we cast message data as a string so we can concatenate in this log. All right, and actually it's not finished because, well, we have a publisher, we have a function to publish, but we don't call this function. So let's add a timer here. So self 
dot uh, let's name it timer is equal to self dot create timer okay and we need to provide a period in second let's just put 1.0 okay so we can publish every one second and we need to provide a callback so self dot publish number and i don't put any parentheses here okay just the name of the function all right i can save the file and now well the node one is finished we create a publisher and a timer so we can publish every one second on the data one topic with a random float number now let's go to the node number two of the pipeline and so in this node what we need to do is so we are not going to start to create some random numbers and publish them we are going to start to actually subscribe to get the data that we get from the node number one okay so here we are sending something on the data one topic with the float 64 data type okay so in the node 2 we first need to subscribe to this so i'm going to do from example interfaces dot msg import float 64 okay i need to exact same message type here and then let's create a subscriber so self dot let's name it number sub is equal to self dot create subscription here so create subscription with what message type well float 64 and what will be the name of the topic well data one actually make sure it's exactly the same okay if not well the pipeline is kind of broken and i will need to provide also a callback because well with a subscriber you're gonna process the uh, messages in a callback so let's create a number callback like that yourself and we are going to receive a message okay i'm just gonna add this with colon and float 64 to precise that this uh, message is going to be a float 64 object here if i don't do this it's still gonna work but i will not have the auto completion in the function all right so let's get the number the number is message dot data you can see i have the auto completion here and what i will do now so i have done the first part of the, the node 2 which is to basically create a subscriber and then just get the number that we publish from the node 1 but now this node number 2 is actually going to be publishing again okay so what we want to do here is let's say we want to multiply the number by 2 so we want to process the data and we want to publish the data again for the next node which is going to be the node number 3 okay so what we need to do here is basically we need to create another publisher and where will we publish well we will publish actually when we receive a message so we will publish from the subscriber callback all right so let's create a publisher self let's just put it on top of the subscriber here let's name it number pub okay no problem you can just name it number pub here because what well, you can see here we have number pub but that's a different class that's a different file that's a different scope well no problem so self number pub is equal to self dot create publisher and then we of course we are going to use the float 64 and for the topic name well this time i will use data 2 okay so i receive on data 1 and i publish on data 2 okay make sure you publish on a different topic and so what i need to do now in my callback i'm going to create a new message okay, so i've already used message here so i'm going to write new message is equal to float 64 and I can do new message dot data is equal to number multiplied by 2.0. Okay, so we keep the decimal. And all I need to do is self dot number publisher. So number pub dot publish with new message. Okay, and actually I have started to create a publisher, but I didn't even finish to write the subscriber here. So for the subscriber, we need the message type the topic name and then we need of course to provide the callback so self dot number callback that's going to be the function here and then we also need to add a q size and let's put 10 um, i also forgot the q size here so 10. all right so now the node is well it's complete we have created a publisher a subscriber and the subscriber is going to receive on topic data one. OK, 
Okay, so when we receive a message, we go to this number callback and then we create a new message, okay, with the updated data that we publish on the data2 topic. So data1 to data2. And what I can do also is let's add another log here just so we can visualize what's happening when we run the nodes. So get logger info and let's say received. So let's print what we have received. Um, I'm going to put str of that's going to be the number and then plus publishing and let's publish let's actually print the new message dot data so we print what we have received i could have put also message dot data but since i have number variable here i'm going to use it and then what we publish okay great so let's save this and now we can go to node number three to finish this pipeline okay so what we do in this node well we have already a data coming on this topic data two okay make sure you use data two here for the node three okay because that's what you're publishing from the node two so i'm simply going to create a subscriber here okay so let's do from example interfaces dot msg import float 64 and let's add another subscriber here so self dot number sub let's call it number sub as well is equal to so self dot create subscription with float 64 and then we need to receive on data two topic okay and then we will need to create a callback so let's do def number callback we receive a message of type float 64 so i'm going a bit faster now because we just done those steps before and okay let's do this and let's not forget the callback here self dot number callback and the q size 10. all right so i have created my subscriber with the type the name of the topic the callback q size now what i do in the callback well if the node 3 was a node in the pipeline that should also continue to transfer the data so we would maybe process the data and also send it to another topic but here that's going to be the last node of the pipeline so what i would do is simply to print it and that's it so let's do self dot get logger with info and let's say received with plus string of msg dot data okay and that's pretty much it now nothing else to do so now i can save and i have finished uh, the code so again in node one i start by creating so i create a publisher and a timer you can see so i can initiate some form of communication so i publish here every one second on the data one topic on the node two i will have a subscriber to data one and in the subscriber i have a publisher you can see here we don't have a timer we just publish from the subscriber callback to the data two topic and then on the node three i just receive so i have a subscriber to data two and then i can just continue the pipeline i'll stop it there and just before i start to build and run actually let's go back to node number two because i had an error here float 64 must have you can see the parentheses okay to create the object otherwise we're gonna have an error so i just add this and now make sure it's gonna work so that was a quick fix and now let's go to the terminal and what i will do is well let's say i will go to my rust workspace and do a call con build okay and uh, well some warnings but everything is uh, fine so let's do a clear and let's actually source the setup.bash uh, maybe you have put this inside your bash assets so you source your bash assets the same here i'm just going to make sure that i source all the terminals so that i can have the correct nodes and in this first terminal i'm going to start the node number one so rust to run tutorials i've created a package named tutorials py okay and that's going to be node one in this terminal i'm going to start rust to run tutorials py with node two and in this one i'm going to start so rust to run tutorials py with node three okay so let's start the node number one let's see what's happening 
So we have publishing with a random number, you can see between zero and 10. Now let's start the node two. And you can see we receive, so if you check the data that's being published here, that's the same that we receive here and we publish what? We publish the double of this number, all right? And now let's start the node three. And you can see we receive here the number that's being published here by the node two. Okay, so the pipeline is working. Now let's say I cut, so I stop the node one. So I cut the beginning of the pipeline. You can see the node two and three are still working, but we don't receive anything. I start the node one again, and you can see now it's gonna continue. It's gonna resume the communication. If I stop the node two, well, node one is still publishing, but since we have cut the middle of the pipeline, then the node three will not receive anything. Okay, I think you got the point. And now in this terminal, let's do RQT graph. And actually, well, this is not updated. I can just click on this here. And you can see now we have here node one, node two, node three. We have our data pipeline. Great. And so this example was quite simple. And if you want to go further from here and to improve the code, well, you could start to maybe run multiple nodes in the same executable using composition. Okay. You could use a different. So instead, if I go back to the code, instead of using just the RCLPy spin, you could use a single threaded executor, for example, or a multi-threaded executor. So that's going to be a composition with different nodes that you start from the same executable. And if you are using C++, you can do that, plus use intra-process communication so that you can optimize even more. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description. And see you in the next one.